Um, I think back to you talking about people on social media and how easily they're swayed with opinions that we can put out there. Back to the Nikki Hate train. No, I don't think you started that, but I think addressing it adds to it. And then when I don't address it, and then when I don't address it, then what? Every time Nikki, that evil keep fair. on believing lies I'm about not, me. I'm not saying you it's sound fair. crazy. Yes, if yes. every day I go outside and say <laughs> I just saw Rory in the in the in the cafeteria sticking a broom up up someone's ass, well, and I'm then and then I go on <laughs> Queen Radio where there's millions of listeners, and I said, Yo, you know that dude Rory, right? <laughs> Why I just seen him stick a broom up a nigga ass in the cafeteria? <laughs> are Are you allowed to? Should you not defend that? Millions of people. People, whether they know you or not, will now know. And it, whether it's true or not, we'll say you have stuck a broom up a nigga's ass. Great. Is that okay? The next Queen Radio, I'm gonna start a lie about you. I'm gonna start a lie about you. <laughs> oh, yes. That's no. my favorite cool. show. It's not cool. It's not cool. It's not cool. Let me tell you something. You might laugh and say it's cool, but when it's a bunch of celebrities out here taking fucking drugs and committing suicide and killing themselves, it's not fucking cool. It's not fucking cool because you niggas think because it's not on you when the heat is not on you. Of course it's cool. If you felt the heat, it would not be fucking cool, my nigga. Nikki, I agree. It would not be cool, my nigga. So I remember that Joan Rivers made me feel horrible um, about, she was like, I heard you gained weight, but you know, you look great to me. And I'm like, thank you. Now I have to go sing live at the Oscars with Whitney Houston on stage in front of the entire world. But anyway, God bless her. Is Mariah Carey to my right, behind Sally. All right, get in here. Now, everyone said you, you gained weight. You did not. You look you wonderful. I gained weight. Aren't you tired of all the stupid rumors? You know how it is. You know? What are you going to do? That's life. Is your weight, huh? No. You look what they said. Wait, Mar John Rivers says it, then it has to be true. You did not gain weight. Turn around. And you were singing tonight with? Whitney Houston. Is it fun? Did you get to work together? It's a lot of fun. We had a great time working together. We always have a good time. My question, first of all, I'm sure you spend all day in the chair for makeup. So how long are you in the makeup chair for Maleficent? No, no, no. I meant like the special effects. And do you ever come home in the makeup and prank your kids? Do you know what? I actually pranked my kids when I first did Maleficent, and I scared one of my kids. I would totally do that. That again. No, How did you do it? Did you hide? What about the crazy rumors that are out there? I mean, crazy rumors, for example, about you being a hermaphrodite. How do you feel about that when you read that? I'm not even going to answer that question. You can ask me about, about scrutiny. I just would prefer that... Um, Tom Cruise has some watery scenes in War of the Worlds, but it was a little squirt that made a splash at the London premiere. If pranksters were cruising for a bruising by using a fake microphone to squirt the actor, what they got was cruise control. Come here, come here. Why would you do that? Cruise grabbed the guy, indignant but dignified. Hey, hey, no, 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 don't run, don't run away. You're a jerk. Yes, 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 yes. That's... What's so funny about that? It's ridiculous. That's really... Hey, hey, no, no. Don't run away. Don't run away. Incredibly rude. I'm here giving you an interview and answering... You're a jerk. sexual references and, and not care about the music? Is that, is that something that worries you? No. Not at all. I've got three number one records and I've sold almost four million albums worldwide. You see, if I was a guy and I was sitting here with a cigarette in my hand grabbing my crotch and talking about how I make music because I love fast cars and fucking girls, you'd call me a rock star. But when I do it in my music and in my videos, because I'm a female, because I make pop music, you are judgmental, and you say that it is uh, um, distracting. I'm just a rock star.
I hail men. I love men. I, I celebrate American male culture and beer and bars and, and, and muscle cars. Um, but that's not what you asked me. You asked me if my music was distracted by my sexuality, and it's not. Am I a virgin? <laughs> <laughs> I would make yes, I am a virgin, and I definitely want to try and have sex till I'm married. I just want to wait for that special someone. There's one subject we didn't discuss. Mm -hmm. What was that? Everyone's talking about it. Why? Well, your breasts. You seem to get furious when a talk show host comes up with this <laughs> subject. Justin Timberlake is in the house, and I just want to ask you one question. Did you <laughs> Britney Spears? <laughs> yes or no? Oh, man. Come on, man. Okay, I did it. No, yeah! You were driving with Sean on your lap, did it? I, clearly and it's seriously to... that, that driving incident. I did it with my dad. I'd sit in his lap and I'd drive. We're right. country. That's what, you know what I mean? It's but what not... happened, though, it crossed from a paparazzi incident to next day, it's in the newspapers, and you've got all these legitimate people weighing in, saying, you know what? That's dangerous. And she put her child at risk. You saw the questions that were being asked. Is Britney a bad mom? Mm -hmm. It's not like, did Britney record a bad song? Mm -hmm. Is Britney wearing a bad outfit? Is Britney in a bad marriage? Yeah. Is Britney a bad mom? Mm -hmm. I mean, That's America for you. <laughs>